students and parents. Hope you're doing well. This is the same three number principle organized in a pattern of hexagons. The hexagons are not units, but only a convenient design to house the three number principle. This is for multiplication and addition. So here's a worksheet um, of puzzling hexagons. So that would be a unit in itself, the hexagon. But we aren't going to deal with units here. We're just going to deal with Mr. Budinger's three-number principle. Um, and let's take the same examples that we had in the previous video. The previous video uh, notes we did 12. So let's go ahead and take 12. Let me show you how this works. I want you to follow along. Have your pencils and eraser ready. Pause the video if you need to. Go get those materials and then come back. In puzzling hexagons, we're going to start with um, multiplication. Okay. I know that's this X, this multiplication symbol. And let's go ahead and start with the same number as an example for what we multiplied earlier. I'm going to put a little multiplication symbol up on top here. So this is what we're doing as multiplication, just so you don't forget. Now, now what do we call this number up here if we're starting with the very largest number in multiplication, the number that comes after the equal sign? This is going to be the product. And what do we call these numbers down here? We're going to multiply these numbers down here. What do we call these numbers down here, the two numbers that we multiplied to get the product? If you said factors, you're right. Now, what kind of examples did we come up with? Now remember, we can't, there's no cumulative property. CP, we're called not the cumulative property, no cumulative property. We have to come up with different numbers each time down here. Do you remember those numbers? We had 3 times what equals 12? 4. And then here we had what? 2 times 6 equals 12. So these two numbers multiplied together equal that number up there. And then we had one more left. We had 1 times 12 equals 12. So this is how you use these puzzling hexagons is these two numbers down here and the operation you're using has to equal the number up here. They have to be balanced. Okay, let's do the addition. Okay. And let's use the same number 12. Let's put a little addition symbol up here just to remind you that this is addition. We aren't using multiplication. And what do we call the number? When we add these two numbers together, what do we call the result of that? The ones on after the equal sign. Do you remember? We call that the sum. And what do we call these numbers down here that we add together? Sometimes the name kind of implies what they are. We call these the add ends. So here we're going to be adding these two numbers together to get 12. You remember what numbers we used? We can use all kinds of numbers, more than just three examples for addition. Now remember, we can't use the same numbers twice. We can't reverse the same numbers. So no cumulative property on this either. Um, let's take, um, let's take 7 and let's add 5 to that. 5 plus 7 equals 12. What other number can we use here? Let's go 
up the same way we did last time. 8 plus, uh, this number, if this number goes up, this number is going to have to come down. 8 plus 4 equals 12. And then we had 9, so we're getting larger each time with this first add-in. And the second add-in has to be one smaller. Uh, let's say 3 equals 12. So we have an example of multiplication using our puzzling hexagons and an example of addition using our puzzling hexagons. So here's your sample. And um, let's apply one more number to here. Let's say the number 18. Okay. Now we're starting out with the largest number and coming up with examples down here of what we should either factors or prod or add-ins. So here let's use multiplication again. And here we're going to use addition. And remember, no cumulative property for either one of these. Go ahead and tell me what this number name is and these numbers down here and tell me what this number is called when we use addition and these numbers that get us those um, the results of adding together. You can go ahead and put the multiplication signs in here and come up with some numbers that you think will work for this example.